Post by Bobble and Koopa. And if there's something that's clear right now in this game number four is Blacklist International, kanila ang mapa. Ang ganda ng vision nila. They can tell exactly where Next Play Evos is. But when you're talking about engagement, you're talking about initiation. Again, even in game three, specifically game three, makikita natin ang ganda ng instincts ng Next Play Evos. So, yeah. There's no way it's, it's, it's gonna be anything else, right? And Marian, that's it. Post by Popol, yeah. too. It's going to be the roaming popol. Yeah, um, it's going to be a roaming popol para kayo my Venus. Haji will be getting the Eve. And then, of course, Brody Reynas YS. As we know which lanes they're going, um, it gives them that vision. It gives them that control. And yeah, it's going to be the vision game for Blacklist. Um, Susubukan nila nga hinto. Yung momentum dito ni Cadenza. Smart trap placements para sa popoling kung ang kailangan dito ng Blacklist International. I-maximize nila yung Mountain Shocker Vision makukuha nila. Kasi kung hindi, nila mahinto ang pag-input ni Cadenza. Baka masupresa sila kay Kenneth Scott Castro on the Pufra. That's always a possibility if you give him heroes like this. Let's go into game number four. Next leave was looking to even the odds here. Blancs International threatening a match point victory. That's gonna be the jump. Maaga. Gina Giaga, Chica Denza getting on to Oh My Venus on this roaming Popoling Koopa. Yeah. In a while, Avery is gonna be the emblem on that. So, tignan natin kung nag-iba yung build ng roaming Popoling Koopa. Hmm. Uh, that underbelt and stuff like that, no? Yeah. Ang... Um, Actually, what happened here is, you know what I posted to the players when they were doing this, like a throwback? I missed it because I was feeling for one John Marvin Luna, he just missed it. So let's see how they can take advantage of this. Tell us all this time, when they were waiting for the next lady post, see Owl, but look at this, wow! The reinforcements have come. That's technically a four-man rotation by Blacklist. Dahil kasama nga si Koopa, and they will buy time. Make space for Owl up top. Ang sakit nun, no? <laughs> I didn't expect for Cadenza's health to be brought down to 65% or 70%. Tapos ang damage ako po nalabas dun. The enhanced basic attack proc mark para kay Popol and Koopa combined with the damage brought out by the E. That was uh, surprising. And actually, yung Popoling Koopa, big, uh, fulfill nila yung ano, na-fulfill niya yung hinahanap ko for the roam picture for Blacklist International is kailangan nila ng control. That is what I said earlier. They get a lot of control with the Popoling Koopa. Yeah. And uh, talking about control, not only in these initiations, but also on the map, rotations-wise, the traps that these, uh, that they lay, Blacklist International, and the vision, the level, uh, Four na ba? Si uh, Mr. Del Rosario? Oh, answered yes. Cadenza put down a fifth of his health. Maybe he's tied up in the hood. Ni Oh My Venus at ni Haji. And that's going to be the real revelation set in by Salix Imam. First blood drawn onto Cadenza. Papasok ay naman dito ni Gataanon. Haze going for the... Yun niya, over there. Look how low Black International is. Kaya ba nila mag-retreat? Falling Star Moon dito ni Oreshi. And there's the shadow kill. Not pop just yet. Back out muna, sabi ni H2. No kills yet for next play boss. And ito yung sinasabi natin now. Dominic being able to freely split push in the bottom lane at the same time. Blacklist International, a lot of pressure. Ay napupunta kay Cadenza. Hindi nila pinapayagan siya na makapwesta na maayos, makapag-growth na maayos. Pero sa pag-pressure kay Cadenza, napipressure din nila si Donut. Which is of course, respeto nila yung clint ni Donut. Trying to stop the farm as much as possible or ipabagal yung farm dito si Donut. Yup. So far, first turtle still in contestion. Hindi ganun kadali para makuha to ni Wise dahil nakabantay si Oreshi at ang bilis naman din umikot at bumalik ni Hayes. The top lane still seems to be where the action is at Dahil uh, pinag-initan talaga ng next play team host the Owl And look at this, Cadenza stretching Oh nice steal by Donut on this jungle creep And just like that, now blindside the next play host Taking over that first turtle Now there's the jump in oh, Dominic oh. locking low Underneath the turret, meron siyang damage reduction doon H2 pop, the shadow kill will instead take the crab coin Alright both teams playing it, taking it really slow. 
Sobrang talino nila sa pag ano, discipline na nila sa pag rotate. When to take fights, kitang-kita mo talaga yung ano na the carefulness na pinapakita nila kasi uh, again, sobrang importante to mahalaga to para sa mga teams, the right to represent yes. people holding on. Oh, real relation keeping them in check. Here is why is the Rosario charging up and letting go. Interesting. Look at the cutathon. Look at the, the props you are, as Wami would put it, between Oreshi and Dominic to the bottom lane. That was a null rotation from both sides. Ang galing talaga dumipenta pareho. Nagkakaintindihan na sila. They know what each other is trying to do in this four game series oh. so far. Walang one ups, walang plus one. Oh, grabe yung adjustments ng dalawang teams natin. Uh, you said it perfectly, mirroring each other. Next to Evos, they want to go somewhere. Blackhawks International, pupunta sa kapila. Oh, re handa sila mag-responde. Same thing goes for whatever NXT Evos decides to do. Ready din ang Blacklist. They're able to rotate. Oh man, it's gonna be... Hindi ko may low kill score game to, pero it will be... No, no, no! Red Team Hero has been slain! Nice catch by H2, John Paul Salonga catching. Del Rosario off guard, Dominic buying time. Oh, dashing on out. Consecration keeping him alive for just long enough. In H2, once more. H2, maybe overextend. Oh, oh. Dominic takes him down via the turret. It is going to be Hayes getting bit on as well. Throwing one more. It's the prism. Palik Imam takes down Hayes. Dati niyang ating Mekan under the Omega banner. 1 3 so far. Pero wala nang lamang sa gold. Ang Blacklist International. If anything, napag push pa si Donut sa top lane. Akala mo yung sequence na yun. Tala na ang Blacklist International na pick off ni H2 si Wise. Pero yung again, kakasabi lang natin yung rotation at yung response ng Blacklist International na project pa nila. Consecration of the Uranus. Nakapag-heal pa siya, maiwasan niya, yung, naiwasan niya yung 2-4-2 trade. Naging 2-4-1 trade lang kabor sa Blacklist International. Last hit from the tower ay tumama kay H2. And it's that long extended play off of the back of Dominic Serenos. Dunya na uwai, dunya na bile yung uh, time. And a distract mm -hmm. yung next play Evos overextending the bottom lane. Buying time for uh, this, uh, rest, uh, this rest back up top. So, awal talaga, hindi siya magalaw. Like, you could have switched, you could have called for a switch, you could have pressure. So, sabi all day, okay, to, ayan natin. Purple? Was that a steal? I be yes! Na na ako ni H2 tama? Okay, oh, no. Dominic. Grabe. Dominic, he's fine. 2v1 to ha. Dominic's doing well to survive. Uh, Ay, oh, walang purple box to white. Yeah. Been destroyed. They are gonna push the Okadenza na step up dito ng Mountain Shocker. Red team turret has been destroyed. And Donut just dealing so much damage wherever he may be. Hindi na depends on ni Dominic yun. And it's still Oreshi. Nag-switch lang sila. Full-on switch between the gold lane and the next P lane. Oh, H2, nakapag-shadow clone siya just in time. Oh, oh. pero real world? Interesting call here for Blackwatch International. Just stopping the rotations from next play Evos. Sila magtawa. Oh. Bro, yeah, huh? they will go ahead and take this tier 2 Blue in top lane. Pero mas atando siya. Tapos sila, look at this, the flank. By next play, Evos Cadenza stretching on, catch and one, and looking for the answer. That's going to be Donut at a half health with Houston Shin. Why is going for the Mount Shocker? Oh, oh no, Zapotisha! He's taken out by Stalic Imam, kasama niya na rin si Cadenza. That's going to be a double for the Eve. Oh, we a big win for Blacklist International. It's a moment to give it up. Oh, baka mahuli pa si Reshi. Ah, nakatakas. Oh, close. Pero na-open up nila. Renmar, that was a two-step plan. Top lane, fight, purple buff into a quick lord. Eight minutes, 30 seconds in. Bayad na bayad yung bagong batch. Oh, grabe yung sequence ng blacklist doon. Like he was trying to respond, but they lost so much. They lost the lord, they lost the tower. Uy, oh, mabuti na mahuli din dun si H2. Sakit na ng damage ng Brody ng Blacklist International. At ngayon habang yung Lord magpumunta sa top lane, Dominic, he had to pick up si Oracle. Kakatulong sa survivability niya. 
He can keep going to the backline pang disrupt the next play Evos. Baka mataka, makatakas pa nga siya. And of course, Cadenza did pick up the anti-crash. So, added 20% uh, damage reduction to the physical damage nilalabas ng Blacklist from the YSS, from the Brody. Pero sigurado, nakita na natin, mahirap na defense to para sa NXPE. Mm-hmm. They're gonna have to clear, uh, clear the waves. The old fashioned look through the top lane. Wow, umutok na yung inhibitor, pero hindi pa rin sapat. Can be next in mid, real revelation. Kadenza, papaso. Pero siya, ang sasalubungin. That's gonna be an explosion on the side of Nekla Evos. And, for the part memory, kulang ang stacks. Pero walang mamamatay inside ng Blacklist International. They take top lane inhibitor. Ooh, was not able to stop the ultimate of the Evos. Wrong picture perfect initiation yun para sa NXT right now dahil sa Goldie ng Blacklist even with a picture perfect initiation mahirap pa uh, ipatumba mga member ng Blacklist mataas yung damage oh. output nila Oh, now burst down ni Haji at ni Owl si H2 Salonga bites it and just like that they bought more time Owl is gonna steal the orange here Venus, Villa Luna Going to focus on this mid lane turret. Oh, wala si Kupa. So my question is, wait lang. Sagutin natin yan. After this real Miller Ramon engagement. Underneath inhibitor. That's another kill. Potentially. Waiting for more. Oh, you know what? He's gonna dash on through. No more inhibitors for next play. Evos. Very surgical approach by Blacklist International. One. Three people. I want to put a lot of focus on to here. Uh, si Aul, si Haji, at saka si Wise. Ilang beses na sinusubukan ni H2 ma, of course, asarin yung backline ng Blacklist International. Try to deal a bit of damage, land those marks, baka mahanap siya ng, mahanap siya ng opening. But somehow, Haji, Wise, and Aul, parang initied lang talaga nila yung mga sobrang mabilis na attempts ni H2 na makapasok uh, to try it and deal damage. Kasi yung na-pick off doon si H2, that was a long-range, um, torn apart memory. Ang dami niyang damage nakuha in that one second na tumalun siya sa mga miyembro ng Blacklist International. So, Blacklist still really watching out for H2, knowing that the Sayabusa can come and punish them kung hindi sila mag-ingat at kung hindi nila um, ahintuhi siya. Mm-hmm. Mountain Shocker here to make sure that his lower take is safe. Dominic buying time from the top lane, Linalayo. The H2 Dark Horse Alonga cannot respond. Not a Luminous Lord just yet, but look at this. Real Revelation, Cadenza. He didn't even survive here. The ult ni Haji. And they're continuing the fight. That's going to be a jump down onto Hayes. That's going to be the cleanse and the retreat. The Flicker pa, itong Agora na to. So they're okay. Four man defense against Blacklist International's Assault. Lord coming up in about three seconds here. Oh, they get the... Max Donut goes down! It's just three defenders on the side of x play Evos! They do take some down on the way. Immortality is fucked. Reshi taken down. And the base is gonna be no more. Blackwoods International is at match point. Three to one. An attempt by NXPD. Big Ginyang overturn. Pero sa panahon na yun, ang taas na ng Magic Defense. So, marami na rin items doon, ang Blacklist International and Popol and Koopa Rome. Oh my Venus, still making things like that work. Uh, surprising pickup, but then again, yeah, the control that they need, the extra stun, the fact that they also have that on the Brody, the traps for the slows, played very, very well by Blacklist International. Namis ko lang, Villa Luna 2022. Check it out. Uh, here's the post-game stats. 12 minutes, 28 seconds. Wala palang immortality. I stand corrected, ladies and gentlemen. 